how to get down here. Exactly. It can be a little tricky. Construction is changing things. Now, here's a live look at the roads. Drivers have to deal with Summerfest and daily work traffic on top of the construction. Be on the lookout for that smiley face to get you to Summerfest. That's the best advice we have. If you're coming from the north, exit at I-794 to Plankinton Avenue, then head east to Michigan Street. If you're coming up from the south, get off at Lapham and Greenfield. From there, head east to First Street and follow the signs. From the west, get off at St. Paul and James Lovell. You'll take St. Paul east to Water Street. And again, follow the signs. Exactly. It's that simple. 12 News, Hillary Men spent the day finding the best way to get to the big gig. And she joins us live. And Hillary, I know there are a few challenges, but it's not impossible to get down here. Of course not, Tony, and people will find a way to get here, and in fact, there are a lot of ways to get down here to Summerfest. You know, one option right here, you can park right near, close by in these lots, or you can find some street parking, or you can do what a lot of other people like to do, take the cheaper, hassle-free route. With exactly $6.50 in their hands... There we go. Cooper Dozy and Sarah Ipma from Menominee Falls are on a mission. Summerfest, day one. I'm hoping to go as many times as I can. And this is how they're going to get there, from the new park and ride at the Mayfair Collection off of Burlock. Last year when I went, uh, my friend drove and there was like no parking. We couldn't find a spot to park. It took us about 45 minutes and this is just a lot easier and we don't have to deal with traffic when we come back. The new lot is helping out this year while the Watertown Plank Road park and ride is shut down for construction. One of many snags on the road to Summerfest this year. Because of the construction, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get there. Jackie Jans at Milwaukee County Transit says they've been working with Summerfest and the DOT for years. And for the next 11 days, they're expecting more people to opt out of trying to navigate on their own down to the grounds. The first day of Summerfest, we're all prepared. A lot of extra hands on deck and ready to, to serve Summerfest. We'll serve probably a, a few hundred thousand um, individuals. Now, there are plenty of people that want to drive down here themselves, have their car close by. So coming up tonight at 6, we're going to talk to them, see how they were dealing with the traffic and how it was finding a parking spot on day one. For now, we're live at Summerfest. I'm Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News.